going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Monday morning, and I am just waking up, getting the uh, crust out of my eyes. Uh, you know, yesterday I actually, this, you know, because it's my day off from doing any type of projects, either working on my website or making videos or anything like that, you know, I decided to go and see Star Wars The Last Jedi, and quite frankly, I was uh, not very impressed with that, but, you know, I'll talk about that on a later video, but just wanted to, uh, send some good wishes to, uh, Big Lenny of the Delray Misfits. I understand that he was placed back into the hospital. Uh, from what everyone is actually telling me, it's cardioarrhythmia, uh, which doesn't surprise me because he's had some, uh, heart conditions, uh, as of late there, uh, a couple of you guys have actually asked me as to, you know, what his key component caused and whether steroids had anything to do with it, uh, with his condition. And my answer really to that is absolutely not there. I think, uh, you know, based upon his talk in the past couple of years, I think a lot of his condition is actually due to you know, generally the abuse of growth hormone and possibly insulin. Now, I can't speak for what, you know, Big Lenny actually takes here, but whatever he's taken, it's absolutely not healthy for him. Uh, I, as you can tell, his belly is uh, grotesquely sticking out there, and it's looking in a very unhealthy manner as well. But, you know, discussions like this in terms of what he's actually using you know, ultimately, that's going to be up to Big Lenny to discuss whenever, whether he's in the hospital or when he actually gets out there. Now, I know Big Lenny, I mean, as far as a cardioarrhythmia is concerned, I know the last time he was in the hospital, uh, you know, he was biking out in, you know, in Florida and had actually gotten dehydrated and a lot of people call BS on that. And the truth of the matter is, is that Yes, you can actually uh, have some cardioarrhythmia there uh, if you do get too dehydrated there because of, you know, the sodium content in your body. If your body's releasing that as sweat there, that's going to, you know, that could possibly and indirectly actually mess with the, mess with someone that already has a pre-existing heart condition there. In fact, anything can actually mess with a pre pre-existing heart condition such as uh, illness, sickness, a cold, uh, you know, there's any type of external uh, factors that can actually cause uh, someone to have uh, cardioarrhythmia. Even eating uh, food there could actually cause cardioarrhythmia there, depending on the uh, heart condition itself there. But all the same, you know, uh, if Big Lenny wants to discuss what he's been using further, you know, that's perfectly understandable. But in the meantime, let's just all wish him well to his best of health that, you know, he gets out of the hospital because after all, you know, a hospital is probably the most crappiest place to spend. You know, the, the food is pretty bad. You know, there's a lot of sick people around. It's very boring. And I'm sure that Big Lenny likes riding around through uh, Delray Beach uh, on his bicycles, seeing the sights and everything. It, it's never fun to be cooped up in the hospital, but... All the same, Big Lenny, hope you get better and get the hell out of that damn hospital. And, you know, when you do get out of the hospital, just take my, take mind of your personal health and do everything you can to, you know, live a long and established life there. Take care.